the all of the muscles almost they're arising from the medial epicondyle of the humerus like the flexor digitorum sorry flexor carpi ulnaris you have got <coughs> extensor carpi ulnaris extensor carpi ulnaris it is extending the carpal bone and the extensor carpi ulnaris right next to it especially you can actually see couple of muscles over there this is called flexor digitorum longus as a whole there are a number of muscles but all of them they are sorry i said flexor right extensor digitorum longus they all extending the digits so that's why all the muscles right here they are called extensor digitorum longus there are smaller muscles extensor digitorum brevis but we are not concerned about them the tendon over here you can see only one small portion of the tendon right here the muscle of this tendon is called extensor carpi radialis almost the same thing flexor carpi radialis flexing the radius and carpal bone and here extensor carpi radialis on the small tendon you can see and this one is called the abductor pollicis you see this one is called abductor pollicis this one sorry this one there are actually two muscles one is bigger and one is small so we call them abductor pollicis longus bigger one and the smaller one abductor pollicis brevis abduction we are taking the thumb like this abduction abduction okay so that's it. Last thing before we leave, can you see something here like a band, a wristband? You can see the wristband. And why do we wear the wristbands? Style? Support, wrist support. Wrist support. What are we actually supporting? The tennis players? You know that when you flex your uh, wrist like this, the tendons normally should bulge. Or if you do something like this, they should bulge. But in normal intact wrist or hand, we don't have anything bulging. Put on one loose mitten or gloves, try to do, do that thing, you will have something really bulging over here. And we actually cannot have this thing or these tendons to bulge. Because if you have got this thing loose, you will not have a firm grip. If you would like to have a firm grip, wear the wristband. Nature knows that thing. Nature has given you one natural wristband. So this is called the extensor retinacula. And on this side, you have got the flexor retinacula. Not shown. But you know that if we have got something like this here, we should have something like that there too. Extensor retinacula normally do not cause any problem. But the flexor retinacula, especially the female, the flexor retinacula sometimes becomes too tight and sometimes as I said, due to some unknown reason, females, we have got some swellings. So if we have got swelling in that region, there is no way to disperse the swelling because the retina columns, they are very thick fibrous bands. So you are swelling here, but nowhere to go. So what you will feel? Pain. And that is the carpal tunnel syndrome. All right? Carpal tunnel syndrome. So this flexor retina columns will give you the carpal tunnel syndrome. Normally we don't, but if we have, we have to go for surgery or something like that. This is the thinner eminence. This is the hypothenar eminence. Couple of muscles over here. I'm not going to bother you with the names. All right? Okay, fine.